I know that it is hard for Americans to realize the magnitude of the war in which we are involved. We have problems in this war no other nations have. Fortunately, the great majority of American citizens of German descent have, in this great crisis of our history, shown themselves splendidly loyal to our flag. Everyone had a right to sympathize with any warring nation. But now that we are in the war, there are only two sides, and the time has come when every citizen must declare himself American or traitor. We must disappoint the Germans who have always believed that the German-Americans here would risk their property, their children's future, and their own necks, and take up arms for the Kaiser. The foreign minister of Germany once said to me, your country does not dare do anything against Germany because we have in your country 500,000 German reservists who will rise in arms against your government if you dare to make a move against Germany. Well, I told him that that might be so, but that we had 501,000 lampposts in this country, and that that was where the reservists would be hanging the day after they tried to rise. And if there are any German-Americans here who are so ungrateful for all the benefits they have received that they are still for the Kaiser, there is only one thing to do with them, and that is to hug tie them, give them back the wooden shoes and the rags they landed in and ship them back to the fatherland. I have traveled this year over all the United States, through the Alleghenies, the White Mountains, and the Catskills, the Rockies and the Bitterroot Mountains, the Cascades, the Coast Range, and the Sierras. And in all these mountains, there is no animal that bites and kicks and squeals and scratches that would bite and squeal and scratch equal to a fat German-American if you commenced to tie him up and told him that he was on his way back to the Kaiser.